Hey guys, Katherine King here. Today we're going to go through what I have picked up recently from Scentsy. Um, this is, hang on, this is going to include my club order just so I can just have one video. I, you know, since my club order is always just kind of a pass through anyway, um, I thought I would just combine it all. If I hope that's okay. All right, so I did some cleaning in here yesterday, straightening up, going through Lexi's things. Lexi's my 27 year old lives up by Seattle and uh so I got everything cleaned up and I was showing her some of the wax I got and now I'm missing a bar and I have no idea where I put it. it's the craziest thing so now I'm gonna have to go on a hunt and figure out where I put the bar all right so we're gonna start with my club order first and then my September 1st haul and I didn't get as much as what some people get but the whole purpose was I wanted to pick up the laundry because if you get it um early you don't get the full thing of washer whiffs and I wanted the full size um so there was some stuff I waited on but this is just I always try and open my bags first I ended up with like three bags um and I try and save them so because as you guys know I do sell what's on these shelves I sold off like all but one of my oh what was it frosted cinnamon roll so um a gal had wanted all those and someone who's ordered from me before so um that was nice but yeah I need to get some stuff straightened up I need to get some room up here in the bees for all the uh the blackberry vanilla scents because I have woods frosting and sangria so I need to fit it up there and then also what I picked up I picked this up off of Timu yes I do shop Timu um it's one of these little label makers and just small labels because if you guys have seen I I write the name and I don't have the best handwriting on these but um and then that way when they're on the shelves the labels stick out and it's easier for me to see what the scent is um but I thought it would be cuter on or nicer on something like this so I want to give that a go this is P31S so I'm hoping it'll work we'll see I just got it, so we'll see how that goes. But, okay, so what I got in my club. Yep, messy hair. It's a Sunday, and I'm off this week, so that'll be nice. Um, my pass-through scents. Well, there's two in here that aren't pass-through because I am, I really like the scent, and um, so I'm stocking up on it. So, ras our rosemary and mint. Love, love, love love this scent it is a beautiful rosemary mint so i get that one every time and i get my sherbet lemon every single time because i know it's seven dollars but oh, it is my absolute favorite lemon and i have a lot of lemons i mean like i like i have the lemon chiffon cake those are down here right here um, and lemon lime fizz. I like those too. There's just something about this. It's so lemony. And then I guess if I want to bakeify it, I'll put in a pie crust or if Scentsy, I'll put in. Actually, I'm kind of low on crumb top because I sold off all but one. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll have to mix it with something to to bakeify the scent a bit more. Or And you know, I do vendor wax. So I've got pie crust and stuff in, in vendor wax. All right, so I picked up a sparkling spiced citrus. And you'll see a repeat when you see what I ordered at the beginning of the month. I love this. So I'm trying to decide. And when I do my empties, I'll show it. But I also get orange spice and everything nice. I'm trying to decide. I don't need both in my club. I finished the brick. Um, I brick yesterday because, you know, I put them in these bags. So I finished this one yesterday. Um, but I want to kind of do like a comparison. I don't think I need both in my club. I don't like insanely spicy. Um, I would prefer just a nice fall citrus scent versus like uh, Oodles of Orange, which is more of a summer kind of, you know, orange scent, which isn't really orange, but you know what I mean. So I got that one. I don't know if I got doubles in here. Oh, I did. Sparklings um, Spice Citrus. Because I don't, I don't consider that spicy. So I got two of those. I got two of the berry apple shortbread. So now I'm going to really start warming this one. I do warm most of my Scentsy stuff at work. Um, 
especially, oh, it's so good. Especially when I'm trying to get through my vendor waxing and really get things cleaned up in here. Cause I have more vendor wax than Scentsy. Um, I, I mean, I can sell off my Scentsy too, or my vendor. I just don't usually. Oh, that's so good. That is one of my favorites. You'll see a repeat of that one. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Um, okay. White peach and cranberry. I, I don't smell the cranberry. Oh, I just smell that awesome peach. It is so good. Now, Tim says he doesn't smell it, which is fine. I love it. So that one's in my, and that'll, that's in my quarterly club too. My quarterly club will come in October. So as you know, I always skip the summer. So, um, picked up pumpkin sticky bun and I have been warming, is it this one? Yeah. I've been warming this one and the coconut pumpkin pie or something that it's called at work. I think I preferred this one. I do have a lot of the coconut pumpkin pie because it was in a clearance recently. Um, but I do think I prefer that one. I picked up the scent of the month, which is spooky but sweet. And it's just okay. It's To me, it's nothing special. Um, it is a, a definitely a caramely scent. So, I mean, but to me, I think Scentsy has better ones than that one. And then my daughter had requested, toss my bag over there, had requested the Lord of the Rings. And so I ordered it and warmed two of them and then sent her the rest. And I really ended up liking it. It's good. It's It's got a little bit of a masculine note to it. I think it's fabulous and uh, Lexi really likes it too so that one will stay so like in my club I get Jack's obsession it's way too strong for me and um so that one's Lexi's bar and it's like as soon as she gets them for me because I just stock up and then send them you know she'll come down from Seattle or or I'll you know mail them up sometimes and um she goes through them really really fast so if I could increase Jack's obsession, I would, but, um, we'll see if it ends up coming out sometime so I can increase it again. But anyway, Lord of the Rings is going to be one that is going to be part of, I guess you could quote unquote say her club. So she has now the Lord of the Rings scent and the Jack's obsession. Okay. So now as far as I'm sure you guys have seen, um, the spoilers, for the whiff box so if you don't want to see any spoilers for the whiff box but there has been quite a bit of controversy regarding the whiff box this month um especially i mean if you were to look at the box so hide if you don't want to know about the whiff box but when you get the whiff box and this is what it looks like and you see three things you're like um i paid 35 bucks for that you know so it was a huge controversy and then it became that the boxes are missing scent circles and mine is missing the scent circles. Now, I was told that Scentsy knows or something and that they'll send out our, our scent circles. So if I don't start getting a, a thing about the scent circles, you know, coming to me, then I'll reach out to corporate and say, hey, my, my box didn't come with them. But um, new fragrance are locking, knocking at your door and we will invite you, invite them in. Your September whiff box has everything you need to welcome in fall. So, so it is basically a fall box. Um, okay. I don't like the scent forever fall and this little cutie, unfortunately is scented in forever fall. And I sniffed it yesterday when I was on FaceTime with Lex and I was like, Ooh, but it is, it is very, very cute. It's got the little tassel and everything. It is really cute. I just don't like the scent forever fall. So I usually just kind of keep these. I've got another one up there and, and I end up giving them to Lex. She's a second grade teacher and um, she uses like the, the bitty bit or the bitty buddies. That's an L3 thing. The, the bitty buddies in her classroom and stuff. So um, we got the Scentsy Swipes in Johnny Appleseed which I'll probably take this one to work. Oh, that smells really good. I love Johnny Appleseed. So I'll probably take this to work to, um, cause right now we just have like the Lysol wipes. I'd, I'd prefer something a little bit prettier smelling. So I'll sit that there. Um, 
Let me move the box here. We got the Harvest Collection brochure and the Fall Catalog. Um, and then the scent of the month for October. So that's all that's in the box. It's kind of like, okay. And honestly, I don't think it's a, a very good box anyway because, and then you get three scent circles. So the only reason I get them is I get them half price. So I do get a really good deal on them. Um, and, you know, I'll use these. I don't usually go through and figure out the cost of things. I don't know how much the Scentsy Swipes are. I've purchased them once and I've gotten them in two whiff boxes. Um, let's see, D, they're $13. So, and I pay what, 17 for the box? So anyway, I, I am excited about those. And then, okay, the scent of the month, Vanilla Chestnut. I like to get this early to determine if I want to get the scent of the month um, for the following month, right? Well, I sniffed it yesterday and I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to want it, right? Yeah. And then I forgot to not order it. Oh, I thought I had, I always print the scent of the month things out. Um, and I don't see that I have, have it. So, all right. So it's called vanilla chestnut and it's vanilla and woody and and it's it's very woody. <laughs> um, it's it's a good scent. I I do enjoy it. It would definitely be a headache inducer for me, but it is a really good scent. So it's kind of like you know. And unfortunately, I forgot to cancel it. Today's the fifteenth, so therefore it processed. And I thought I had canceled it, but anyway, it's okay. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have what seven more bars of it now. So. Anyway, vanilla chestnut, it is nice. It is a very woody. I don't think it's necessarily a chestnut kind of scent, like a nutty scent. I think it's definitely more wood than nutty. So yeah, that's my club. Um, small. <laughs> uh, as you know, it is just a pass-through. And the whiff box is very anticlimactic this, this month. This is going to drive me crazy. You know, I don't like things when they're crooked. Okay. So let's get into what I pulled in for fall. Um, the one thing, okay, so they had they had a clearance sale at the beginning of the month. So I got eight, and I know you showed seven because I don't know what I did with the last one, and it looks just like this one, and it's Halloween Town, and it's got all that, you know. So the rest of them are just the, the plain, but I love Halloween Town, but I have no idea what I did with the other graphic one. I'm wondering if I somehow put it in Lexi's tub that's going up to her. But this is just a nice fall be uh, berry scent. I, I wish I still had it in my club. It is a really nice scent, but then you have to sit and think, okay, then it's $7. You know, you gotta make those decisions, right? But it, it's a good one. So I did pick up eight of those if I could figure out what I did with my eighth one. And then I picked up um, Born to Shine. And I didn't get any out of this collection. I don't, I think I was in Scentsy at that time, but oh wow, that's okay. So that's perfume, really shiny on the back. Ooh, that's perfumey, isn't it? Okay, um, well, we'll see, that's perfumey. It's pretty, but it's perfumey. And then I had sold off my hay rides, and so I had picked I picked up a hay rides, um, which people say smells like scarlet sunflower. So we'll see. I didn't like scarlet scarlet sunflower. Is that what it was? No, golden garland. So we'll see. I don't think I have a golden garland. Um, geez. Oh, golden garland. All right, so here's a golden garland. No, no, it does. It smells almost identical. Yeah, it smells almost identical to golden garland. Uh, that's interesting. They bring back hay rides, but not, or bring in hay rides, but not golden garland. So, okay. Then I picked up two six packs. So I picked up four more of the white peach and cranberry. I told you I loved that one. So I picked up four of those. I picked up three of the sparkling spiced citrus. 
because I love that one. And I picked up three of the Berry Apple Shortbread because, of course, I loved that one. And then I picked up a Cherry Chestnut. So I had warmed this one and it was not strong. I think it's a nice scent, but it's just not strong. So what I'm going to do is, you know, label it, put the date on it and hold it. Is Cherry Chestnut in the catalog? Since they put out catalog and harvest at the same time, I do get them uh, mi mixed. Cherry Chestnut. Nope, that's harvest. Nope. No, catalog. Sorry, I was looking in the holiday section because it's on the same page. So it is a catalog scent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit and cure and see what happens kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll try January, February and, and we'll see. Maybe by then I'll be able to smell it and then determine whether or not that's a scent that I'm going to choose to continue with because I think it's a great scent. I just wish I could smell it. All right. So the other stuff I did pick up, I didn't, all right. I didn't pick up the Laundry Love Bundle purely because I don't need those dang um, bar things that they put in. I don't need those. And on the half price items now, they aren't doing half price off the half off the bundle price. It's half off the cost of the whole thing then in half. Um, but it is just one credit. So I did use two credits to pick up the washer whiffs and the laundry. And all I did was take the plastic off. I haven't smelled it. So this is in the scent Frosty Air. If I recall, I didn't particularly care for this in wax last year, but I smelled my scent circle and I was like, oh, okay. I definitely see that as a laundry. So, and it does, it smells like an awesome laundry. So I do have some other laundry stuff um, open, but I really want to see what this is like. So I am going to do this on my laundry today and we'll see what I think because I still have um last no the year before I think it was Christmas they did cranberry and tinsel and cranberry or something like that it is not strong at all um but it's still laundry soap so I use that with other washer whiffs so I still have the rest of a bottle of that and I'm working on the rest of a bottle of um Oh, the new one from last season. I cannot think of it. Sorry, guys, I'm having to look. Starburst Sky, Starburst Sky. So I still have that because I am washer whiff heavy. So I tend to go through the washer whiffs faster than I go through the soap. And I think it's because some of the scents are really light. So I'm gonna just do standard amount of of these and I'm going to see what it you know if I like it or not I think it's a perfect uh laundry scent so I'm really glad that they put it out in laundry okay so then I, at the beginning of the seasons I usually do like stocking up on my fragrance flowers I know and behind all those are their corresponding flowers so I know I have a lot of fragrance flowers I know I do and I really don't, I like smelling my wax and I don't want to taint my wax by having a fragrance flower. And then I think it's a waste of a fragrance flower to put the flower out if all I'm smelling is the wax. So um, I know that's, I know, I know it's weird, but it is just how I am. Okay, so then I picked up, oh, these are different. Okay, so I picked up a cider mill and I already put the flowers up there. So one cider mill one sparkling spiced citrus i thought i picked up two of this one yeah two of the berry apple shortbread and then i think i picked up two yeah two of the rum plum plum which i love this scent so very excited to have those and I mean, I give my fragrance flowers out as presents too. Um, I just gifted one of the big um, 
the bouquet of fragrance flowers to my hairdresser. So it's what I give her as tips sometimes. Sometimes it's wax, sometimes it's a fragrance flower, sometimes I, I actually give her a tip, but she loves Scentsy, so. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up was the new holiday collection. We're able to pick up two of these and then next week I think we can pre-order the bricks. I think it's next week. Um, and I wasn't going, there's four of the five that I like. One is a tree and it's like, I can't really warm tree. And so I, I, I don't know. The fact that I like four of the five is like, do I pick them up early? Do I not? Sorry guys. Whew. Okay. So let's get started. First one, and I do pick up two. So the first one is called Bundle Up. I have not smelled these. Sandalwood blanketed in bright mandarin on soft pillows of vanilla orchid. Okay, so this is orchid. You can smell you know, the, the floral. You can smell the sandalwood. I don't smell any mandarin. But this one is a very pretty kind of soft feminine type of scent. So bundle up sounds like a very good name for this one because it is it's like you're bundling up in a nice cozy blanket. So that one's pretty. You can smell the sandalwood in that though. And the orchid for sure. Okay, next one, Frosted Fantasy. So this one is Bergamot Drifts across snowdrop blossoms from a cedarwood cottage. Okay. Masculine. I don't think I smell cedarwood. Maybe. It's 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 a lightweight masculine scent. This isn't like what you would think of masculine cologne type but it is more on the masculine side. So you have a feminine and a masculine. Um, I wanna do this one last. So let's do Winter Twilight. Crisp Mints, Lemon Peel, and Warm Amber. Hmm. You can smell the mint, it's not peppermint. This is definitely more of a winter mint versus peppermint, spearmint, buttermint. I don't smell lemon peel, but maybe I'm smelling like the mint and the amber. It's nice. I think it's gonna be a headache inducer for me, but it, it is nice. It is. It is really nice, but I love a good mint, but I also like a slap you in the face kind of mint too. So let's do Holiday Market. So Holiday Market is pink grapefruit, pomegranate juice, and allspice. Now, sometimes pink grapefruit for me can be headache inducing because it's very sharp. So let's see. It's not bad. Um, you, you smell the pomegranate for sure. The pink grapefruit, I think, is, is a lot lighter in this. I'm smelling a hint of the spices, and I'm smelling the pomegranate. And I like a good pomegranate, but usually a very sweet kind of pomegranate. But this one is nice. It is, it is fruity pomegranate, for sure. Okay. Oh, I was... I know you guys like seeing the, the brick wall, or the, the bar wall, so, you know... That's why I li I'm sitting here for you guys, but it's hard on my old body. Yes, I know I'm only 49, I get it. Okay, the last one, the one I was most interested in is ginger cookie crunch. So last year we had a ginger cookie. Um, I just sold, oh no, those are that was cinnamon. We have a ginger in the catalog. So let's see what ginger cookie crunch is. And this one is crystallized ginger, crushed nutmeg, and vanilla bean. Oh, this is nice. This is really good. It's not heavy ginger for me. 
like uh, the one that that's in the catalog, the the gingerbread one in the catalog is very heavy ginger, right? But very PPW, and I'm like, eh, I'm PPW. Um, this is really really good. Oh yes, yes. You guys are gonna love this. This is a fabulous kind of light bakery. This isn't like um, Stroop Waffle, which is kind of a heavy duty, you know, heavy bakery. King Cake, I thought was heavy bakery. Everything Nice is a heavy bakery. If you do vendor wax, zucchini bread is a heavy bakery. This one, I don't see this as a heavy bakery. This is like a really lightly spiced ginger cake with, uh, you know, like some icing. Not necessarily that you get the icing, but it might be because it's the crystallized ginger. Maybe that makes it a little different. And I think the vanilla bean is also what's lightening and probably giving me more of that kind of icing kind of feel. That one is fabulous. That is really, really good. So my favorite, you know, in this set, obviously, is going to be the ginger cookie. Then I think Holiday Market, then Winter Twilight... And then the bundle up and frosted fan fantasy. I could really, you know, give two shakes. I was going to use another word, but I don't swear on the channel. Um, give two shakes about just because they're not really my wheelhouse. I mean, honestly, winter twilight is, I don't know. I don't know how that one's going to warm out. And I'll try that one in the bathroom and see, um, you know, with the amber in the bathroom, you know, because my bathroom likes to eat scent. Um so we'll see. So yeah, I have a lot of bars in front of me. So I'm um, obviously I'm going to warm through the the new stuff, but the rest is going to go up on the shelves and uh, take up more shelf space, right? So this is why I sell my wax. This must be all the same scent. Oh, and I don't have these. This one labeled. What is this one? Oh, that's my key lime and ginger or key lime and grapefruit. Ah, that's such a fabulous one. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.